All right. I think I'm live. Did I do it? Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds, I guess. I'm going to go on to youtube.com, see if I can see my own stream because I am paranoid about these things. I have anxiety and so I have to check that everything works. <laughs> okay, awesome. It looks like it is going. It is doing the thing. All right. So I'm going to play Hacker Socialism. This is a game that I stumbled across a couple weeks ago. Um, and I mean, Christina has talked about the book um, back in, oh shoot, was it the closer for season two, I believe, uh, when we debated, or yeah, we debated rural versus urban solar punk. Um, oh no, maybe that was the opener for season two. Um, she mentioned that in half rural socialism, um, the concept is basically that uh, half of the earth would be rewilded. And so I guess that's what this is about, maybe? I don't know. Let's check it out. All right, so new game. God's plant booting up. God's plant. Oh, nice. Oh, I like this music. Oh, I see from my live stream that things go a little bit slower there. Okay, here we go. I hope you can hear the music because it is pretty awesome. Um, so tells me that in 2022, a socialist revolution swept the globe. I did it. Let's find out what happened. The regions of the world united to establish God's Plant, a global planning authority. Oh, okay. That's what God's Plant is. me that it's gone live. Maybe I'm speaking either and nobody's actually out there. It says there's one concurrent user, which, hi, that's awesome. Um, welcome. And, no, but it says that it's live on the Small Fun Presents YouTube channel, so, okay, all right, well, whatever. Okay, so let's go so God's plant was tasked with undoing the myriad harms that centuries of capitalism had unleashed on the planet and its people. I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, oh, hey, Thalas. Nice to see you. I hope I'm saying Thalas right. Or is it 
Thallus. elected as God's Plan's first lead planner. Thank you. I will try to do my best. Oh, both is fine. Okay. Excellent. Good to know. Now I'm waiting for the live stream preview to catch up. It's my duty to bring warming to below 1 degree Celsius, the extinction rate to below 20, and emissions to below zero while there's still time. Oh, you know, not huge things. This is really not asking much of me at all. Uh, oh, hey Jeremy. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. Let me know if uh, it's done anything. Okay, so next. I must do all of these things without letting people's contentedness dip below zero. Oh, okay. Because people are so easy to please. That will be just so easy for me to do. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Okay, I can... Yes, all right. I'm glad you can hear me. Uh... Okay, so otherwise they'll vote me out of office. Yeah, I mean, fair. And I must do so without letting my political capital dip below zero. Okay. Otherwise your adversaries may take the opportunity to replace me. Otherwise my adversaries may take the opportunity to replace me. Yes, that is how politics works, I suppose. It is a sunny day in Havana, where the first planning session will take place. All right. Oh, okay. The first planning session. People are content, but biodiversity is suffering. The world is still warming, and Parliament is ready to work with me. I have 60 years left in my tenure. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. So I've got 60 years to do... All of these completely possible things. All right. Uh, welcome to the Gauss Plant Planning Application. You can call me Gussie. Um, hello. This planning application lets me make my plan. Okay. Cool. I can set research priorities, initiate large-scale projects, implement policies, or ban certain production processes. Neat. Okay. I guess I don't have to, like, wait for these bills to be debated or anything like that. I can just sort of say I want it to happen and it will happen. Cool. This won't have any consequences whatsoever. Um, I'll need to spend political capital if I want something to happen. Oh, okay. All right. If the people are unhappy with my performance, I will be removed from my position. Oh. Well, I mean, fair, I guess. If I get stuck, I can tap on most things for more details and reminders. Okay, good, because I anticipate getting stuck 
pretty often. Okay, just click the add to start making your plan. Okay. Got it? Uh, yeah, I think I got it. Thanks, Kazi. I hope for good luck as well. Okay, so add. We'll need help from various technologies and techniques to survive and flourish over the next century. Yes, we will. Hmm. Apparently YouTube's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, and as such, viewers will experience buffering. Hmm. I guess I'm not going through this fast enough. Uh... Huh. I'm not really sure what to do to make that not happen. I will ignore it and hope that it goes away. Uh, not only new ones, but also the reintroduction and refinement of older ones, too. Okay. And here I can turn political capital into research points that, and use that to set research priorities. Okay. Plan items are represented as these cards here. Drag a card up into the scanner to add it to your plan and hold it there to commit more research points. Okay. So the longer I hold it there, the more research points it gets, basically. And if I change my mind, I can drag the card down to reset its points. Okay. Alright. So. Uh, bioenergy carbon capture in sequestration. Oh, look at these little guys. Let's see. The utopian is opposed to this. If you implement it, your relationship will worsen by negative heart. That's cute. Um... The Fanonist is opposed to this. If I implement it, my relationship with them will worsen by negative heart as well. Oh, let's see, who's for it? The environmentalist supports this. If I implement it, then my relationship will improve by plus heart. Okay, cool. And this unlocks the BECCS process and reduces the development time of carbon capture and sequestration by six years. What is the BECCS process? BECCS is new. It's an electricity card. It's at 0%. It requires energy. I'm using 48% of water resources. Huh. Okay. Grow biofuels, burn them for the energy, then capture and store the CO2 that is emitted. This process captures and stores carbon. This process uses soil. This process uses pesticides. And this process uses synthetic fertilizers. Okay, there is a lot of information on these cards. I guess because there's a lot of variables in play. This game really makes you think about the consequences of your actions and sort of what the consequences are of the actions that are already taking place, which, I mean, I like that, um, but it's also, I don't know, something tells me that most people might not find it to be super exciting. Anyways, this process currently produces zero electricity and zero carbon emissions per year. Okay, cool. All right, um, you know what? Bioenergy carbon capture and sequestration is something that I would like to look into other things first, actually, just because there are two people against it and one person for it. Um, I think I'd like to get something that's a little bit less controversial just because, um, well, I'm an innate people pleaser, but also if I make people super unhappy, enough people super unhappy, they'll vote me out of office. Also, it takes eight years. Oh, although, like, all these other ones take, like, 15 or 20 years, which is not great. Uh, let's see. Biofabrication reduces CO2 emissions for chemical by 50%. Oh, that's nice. The consumerist is opposed to this. If you implant it, your relationship will worsen by negative a heart. Well, I don't care about the consumerists. 
Although, I mean, society is built on consuming, I suppose, so I should, you know, actually think about that. And there are people too, I suppose, so, you know. Um, and the environmentalist supports it because, of course, they do. Um, and the explanation is the manufactured products from raw materials, such as living cells, and biomaterials, pesticide major sources of demand, fossil fuels. Uh, okay, so this will just replace uh, plastics. Mm, okay. Uh, it takes 20 years. Let's see what else there is. Biosphere unlocks the underwater water biosphere project. Possible research points? Question mark research points. Which is. Uh, changes the development colony of space colony by question mark years. Interesting. Huh. Uh, it's a closed system ecology. Oh, so that we can, like, actually, like, create a biosphere in space. That's cool. Um, and the accelerationist supports it. And also the environmentalist does as well. Well, I think that before we think about other planets, we should probably think about this one. So I'm just gonna pass on that one. Cellular meat. Um, the consumerist is opposed to it because, of course... Environmentalist. Oh, the Animal Liberationist supports this. Haven't seen them before yet. It's a cute little little sprite. Mm, and the Accelerationist supports it. <sighs> Will it be as popular as meat? Mm, that unlocks a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, vegetarian mandate, the vegan mandate, and it bans high seas fishing. Okay. On the one hand, mandate sounds like kind of fascist, but so does a ban. And banning the, you know, fishing of endangered species and stuff like that is a thing that is good. So uh, I will not decide right now. Okay, electric arc furnaces reduces the fuel demand for iron and steel by 100%. You know what? Improved efficiency. Uh, steel to made from 100% scrap metal. Less energy intensive. Version steel making from ores. There's not a lot of controversy around mining. And the... Is that the environmentalist? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Nobody's opposed to it. And it only takes 10 years. Um, yeah. I think I'll swipe up and... Whoa, 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 Okay, there's four years left. I hmm, probably should have gotten that out of the way first. Okay, so it's gone down to four years left. Um, and I've put a ton of research into it, and now my political capital is at 64%. <laughs> Whoops. Or not percent, I guess it's just 64 points. Fine. Oh, no, I can undo things by... Pulling down? Oh, okay. All right, so I think I still want to, you know, put some research points into it. I don't want to put that much though, because it looks like there's a lot of these and I think I need to be a little bit more judicious. So let's put, put like, no, 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 no. Okay. Bah. I'm terrible at using a mouse, apparently. Okay. That was one research point. There is now 10 years left. Okay. I found it sort of half. So I've still got 82 points. Um, all right. Fast breeder reactor. Research and develop nuclear reactors that run on spent uranium. Oh, who is this guy? Utopian. Ah, uh, okay. And the authoritarian supports it. Hmm, not sure I want their support. And the acceleration supports it. Well, it takes like 20 years, so I think I'm gonna pass on that. Instead, I think I might go for some floating wind turbines. Um, 
because that's cool. Uh, I don't need to, well, the environmentalist likes it. Green hydrogen, the environmentalist likes it. It also takes 10 years. Electrification, oh, high density batteries. Oh, I like that. That is a big issue, I think. I mean, I can put as much research as I want into electricity, but if I don't have anywhere to store it or any way to sort of like capture all the electricity that is generated, then it's kind of a moot point, to be honest. Um, also, it unlocks a whole bunch of other stuff, and I like that. And the environmentalist for it is for it. It doesn't seem to have any negative consequences. Uh, sure. Okay, let's see how much I managed to do here. Okay, I funded it halfway. So it's got five years left. I've got 61 points of political capital left. Do I like, do I just go until this is zero? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go until this is zero because that kind of seems like the point. I don't know. Honestly, I need Gossy to come back and tell me what the consequences of this are is. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's three points is one research point. Gotcha. Uh, oh, hempcrete. That's cool. Um, it increases land demand though, which I'm not really into. Um, next gen solar PV increases the solar PV output by 300%. Well, you know what? My, like, I just in. Oh, hey, Derek. Um, I just invested in uh, steel making. Um, and that said it would put the energy demand up. Um, and so I feel like I need to actually generate some energy. Plus I just, you know, uh, put research funding into high density batteries. So I feel like this makes sense. Um, oh, it's 20 years though. Oh my goodness. <sighs> um, what else is there? Search for extraterrestrial life. That, okay, that's cool, but I don't know that I necessarily want to spend my political capital on it. Oh, it increases the world contentedness by one whole point. Well, I, hmm, they're pretty content already. Uh, oh, if it goes below zero, I'll be removed from power. Oh, okay. So maybe that is a good thing. It's likely to increase world contentedness by two. And it unlocks a space elevator project, which also sounds extremely cool. I, you know, I am trying not to rule of cool this, but I also realize and recognize that we really don't need to be looking into space right now. We need to be looking at our own problems first. Or at least that's how I feel. Um, so in an attempt to stay true to my motives, I'm going to say no. <sighs> Last antibiotic stops working. Hooray. I really hope that's not something in our actual future. I mean, it probably is, but Christina could probably tell us about that, actually. She would be the type of person who knows about that. Uh, oh, reduces the chance of crop failures by 20%, these perennial cereals, and it reduces biodiversity pressure by 0.5%, which is pretty good. Or 0.5, just 0.5, not percent. I keep saying percent, but it's not percent anything. And the Fanana supports it. Okay. But I don't, I don't see where I can, like, click on little icons and just see what my actual, um support is from all of these different people. They just exist on these little cards. Hey, ANP Astronomy. 
Are there other tabs than research? Just spend the couple. Of oh, you are totally right. Um, there's infrastructure and policies also. Uh, oh, Gossi says these are large scale projects like mass electrification or geoengineering schemes, which will help provide the foundation for a better world. Yeah, I like that. Uh, here I can turn political capital into infrastructure points and use that to set build these projects. Just like with research cards, swipe these up to scan them and add infrastructure points. Okay, cool. Um, and then with policies, wide range of changes are needed to put us on a long term path towards sustainability. Here I can use my political capital to wrangle support for policies to implement worldwide. Okay. Just swipe a card into the scanner and presto, it's added to my plan. Okay, cool. It takes regional governments one planning cycle to implement policies. Okay. If I change my mind, I can swipe it down to remove it from the plan. All right. Oh, universal family planning. I like that. Ooh, it unlocks the one child policy project. I don't know. Cap and trade program for children? I feel like that. Mm. Well, I like empowering women. I feel like having a cap and trade program for children is maybe not named the best thing ever. Uh, oh, but this only takes five years and it's the utopian curriculum. Unlocks the abolish prisons project. Ah, I like that. Unlocks the eco socialist video game project. Well, now. Uh, reconcile town and country project. Okay, so this unlocks a whole bunch of things. Um, and the utopian supports it, of course. Um, you know what? I think I like that. Um, I think I'm gonna add it to my plan. Yay! Oh, and there's one planning cycle left for it. If I click on this policy, it costs one planning cycle left political capital to implement. There's something wrong with the grammar in the sentence. Why am I not understanding this? This policy costs one planning cycle left political capital to implement. I don't really know what that means, but okay, cool. Um, stack Conovite shock workers. Mm, it takes 20 whole years. This Rien Faire Commune Bet also takes 20 years, and because of opposition, it requires a majority in parliament. Oh, there's so there are three little guys who don't like it, and two little guys who do like it. Um, okay, I'm gonna steer away from the stuff that requires a majority in parliament because it's. Look, I'm trying to do this on easy mode right now. <laughs> oh, a Malthusian curriculum. Nope. Uh, oh, marine protected areas. I like that. Yay, it's passed. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, cap and trade for children is such a, I mean, the, they need to get a PR person on this. Like it was obviously named by someone, like some economist who doesn't have imagination. <laughs> uh, Fanonis curriculum, I already said okay to the utopian curriculum though. I do like the Fanonis curriculum though. So we might come back to that. Oh, an environmentalist curriculum. Can I just okay all of the curriculums? Oh, an eco-feminist curriculum. Yeah, okay. Uh, factory farming reform. Oh, I like that too. Um, it increases the world contentedness by one. Okay, done. I'm sold. Um, we want to make people happy. And we're going to make the animals happy at the same time. So it's a win-win in my eyes. Um, can I say yes to more than one curriculum? Let's try. Okay, cool, I can. Awesome. Um, then let's say, oh, I'm down to 26 capital. No. 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, I feel like environmentalist goes under ecofeminist, maybe. Oh, shoot. I can't equate these things. Uh, okay, I haven't done any infrastructure. So maybe I should look into those. Compost. Cogeneration. Cloud brightening. I do not like that. The idea of geoengineering strikes terror into my heart. Maybe because it's because Snowpiercer, the movie, came out when I was at a formative age. But um, I just think it's a bad idea. I feel like, you know, that guy in Jurassic Park who's like, you were just thinking about what you could do and you didn't think if you should do it or not. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. Um, carbon negative concrete. That's cool. Takes 15 years. Geoengineering takes 27 years. Biochar electrification. Okay, battery storage network. I did fund the like batteries or re put research into battery storage. So I feel like this is a good sort of like thing that sort of goes with it. Um, so I'm going to, oh, there's 15 years left. 12 years left. Oh, I'm down to 20. Oh, if I run out, I'll be pushed out of government. I was thinking that I was supposed to run out of it. Whoops. Uh, okay, I guess... I guess that's everything. No, oh, but there's so much more to do. And there's so much more that could be done, you know? How... Am I just supposed to wait until, like, the year counter turns? Because... Like, these things are going to take, like, I've got 12 years. Good thing I'm in power for 60 years, I guess. Um, desalination plants, that would be really cool. Direct air capture, electrify road vehicles. They have way too many cool things on the docket here. And I don't know. Uh, I wish I had more political capital. Oh, expanding the recycling increases world contentedness. Should I spend some stuff on increasing world contentedness? Mmm. Oh, indigenous sovereignty. Yeah. Ocean iron fertilization. What is that? Dump iron into the ocean to stimulate diatom growth, which might sequester four gigatons of CO2 a year. This technique might not work and could have detrimental ecological effects. You know what? This is something that I bet Christina would know about if I asked her. Um, cause I've heard of this, dumping iron into the ocean to, um, somehow, you know, magic hand wavy fingers and then, you know, it just makes the climate better. I don't know how that works. Um, seems like a lot of wishful thinking to me. Passive building mandate, retrofit, pedestrian and bike friendly cities, your medium protect ecosystems, wooden skyscrapers. Oh man. Okay. Well, I guess if I've only got plenty of political capital left, I don't really want to get kicked out. I want to see what happens next. So, d does this advance me? Ask. F okay. Oh, okay. So, this is the menu. Um, so the temperature anomaly is at plus 1.1 Celsius. My protocol apple is only at 20. Um, the extinction rate is really bad, but people are happy. Um, cool. We cry out for utopias for powerful presentations of fate. That's cool. I wonder if it's a quote. Like, is it a quote from the book, or is it a quote from somebody else who said it? If so, they should really um, attribute that. Okay, um, I guess in order to move forward, do I do this? Oh, my current annual emissions are 51.6 gigatons. My goal is to get this to below zero. Oh, this tells me where all my um, emissions are coming from. Uh, smallholder farms, petroleum power. 
Oh, it's only at five percent, and I'm spending. I'm I'm making that many gigatons of pollution. That's terrible. Um. Ugh, and of course, industrial livestock ag is terrible. Okay. Cool. Um. All right, I'm I'm done. I finished. I think. How do I go forward? Or do I actually have to spend all this political capital? Because I... In order for the game to go forward. Or do I just wait around? This is... But do a do. If anyone in the comments has uh, any ideas for what to do, I am open to suggestion because I don't really... know what to do at this point. I mean, the music is very groovy. But the thing is, is that, like, there's a year counter, but it doesn't tell me how long each year is. Like, like the year will change over in 20 minutes or something like that. Um, I don't have a, any idea really of how long I should just spend on this. Okay, I've got five years left for these high density batteries and it's researching. That just tells me what it is. Okay. I feel very silly. I feel very stupid. Um, is this how games work? <laughs> it shouldn't be. There should... Gossy, come back. I need you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, time to look up a uh, game guide. How to advance half-earth socialism. Let's see. is nice to vibe to though, I have to say. finding anything useful to me. It's just like how to win at half air socialism. And I don't need that. I just need a very basic how to do the thing guide. What does the back button do? I do not know. Let's check it out. I assumed that it would... Oh! Thank you, a &P Astronomy. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Well, I am not assuming your gender. Perhaps you are a, you are a gentle person and a scholar. Uh, I assumed that clicking the back button would just take me back to the first, like, the start a new game um, screen. Apparently not. This I feel like that could have been labeled better. Anyways, maybe I'm just way too literal in my interpretation of language. 
Okay, Gossi says that now that I've added some products to my plan, let's try changing our production processes. Yes, please. Uh, I can press change production to go to the process manager. Oh, this is the predictive effect of my current plan. So that's the land use. Oh, where did the sound go? <laughs> Says the sound is on. <laughs> Says the tips are on, so uh... <laughs> mm, well, I guess we don't get sound anymore. That is very strange. What? My emissions will go up? Why? I want to research batteries. Oh, but maybe that does bad things. Okay. All right. Well, I will s select change production. Oh, and the music is back. Okay, we have a wide array of processes to produce two critical resources, food and energy. Okay. Here I can change the production mix for each of these resources. Of course, it will take time to make all these changes. Yeah, unfortunately. Different processes have different benefits and drawbacks. Thank you. Uh, much more land or energy, for example. Hmm. Okay. And some require certain feedstocks like oil or uranium that could become degraded, so keep an eye on those. Okay. And if I needed more information about a process, I'll just tap on it to flip it. Okay, let's just try changes of process mixes. Alright, so. I want to start all the way over at the side here. Okay, coal power, no. Wait. They want me to change it. Okay, oh, I see. So there is that. That sort of shows me how much we're using right now. Um, it's sort of a, a visual marker of the 35%. Okay, so, and it's... Um causing a biodiversity threat. It's not taking up too much water or land, but it is producing a whole heck of a lot of uh, air pollution. Geothermal is at 0%. Um, huh. Okay. Hydropower. Yeah, we have a lot of hydropower in Canada, and... Um, well, it is technically a quote-unquote clean energy source. There have been a lot of, I mean, there's been a lot of land flooded for hydropower. Um, land where people were, you know, like actually living their lives, they had to move um, because a giant dam was being built. So I can totally see it would take up a whole ton of land um, and also be really bad for biodiversity. Mm. Natural gas, kind of want to stay away from that. Nuclear power, kind of want to stay away. Oh, I can see how much. Oh, it will give me seven electricity and four pollution. This will give me three electricity and zero pollution. So I should pay attention to that. Petroleum power, solar power, terrestrial wind power. Okay, all right. Um, and this is all electricity. Uh, whereas there is fuel. So biofuels, blue hydrogen, coal, gray hydrogen, natural gas. They don't get pictures, though, apparently. <laughs> um, oh. This process currently produces 18 gas and 5... Okay. Alright. Crops. Vertical farming. Uh, how do they give zero plant calories? Oh no, sorry, that's, um, land use? 
No, because this is land use. Okay, so it is giving zero calories, apparently. That's weird. And organic crop. Oh, it's because we're not using it. That's why it's not giving that much plant calories. So once we use it more... Okay, there's organic agriculture and vertical farming. Um... This uses a whole heck of a lot of energy, but it's very light on most other things. Um, an organic crop egg. Huh. Okay. And the last one is livestock. So we have industrial livestock egg and organic livestock egg, which they both have sort of the same things. Um, Consumerist is pro. Everybody else is like, this is terrible. Um, Phenomenist and the environmentalist are pro. And the animal rights liberationist is like, this is not okay, you guys. Okay, I understand why there's the vegan mandate then. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's start with electricity. Uh, To need a lot of electricity. Why does it decrease biodiversity? You know what? Never mind. I the obviously the values of the people who created this game are a little bit different than my own. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, because what I want to do is get us off of coal and natural gas and instead go up to let's see what solar PV is going to give us. Oh, rem what? There's currently no limit on this process, let's make sure. Okay, cool. Did I forget how to do this already? Oh, it's telling me to remove points first. Okay, gotcha. So let's see, I remove this and now I have that many points to spend, okay. All right, so instead of coal, let's just put it all into solar PV and see what happens. Ha! Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to get rid of petroleum and put it into solar um, and get rid of natural gas. into wind because you know what the critics are right it's not sunny all the time and also if you happen to live in you know more northerly communities where you just do not get that much sun especially if it's dark for half the year solar is not going to help you very much if you don't have a good sort of battery um system and right now we don't that's why i put research uh into it okay um Fuel. Okay, so let's just get rid of petroleum. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Um, You know, I'm gonna go for blue hydrogen. I have my own sort of thoughts about blue hydrogen, but you know what? 
that's just I'm just gonna have to deal uh, okay well I definitely don't want coal um, and let's put it back into blue hydrogen um, and let's get rid of natural gas You know, I'm not playing this with any sort of, like, strategy in mind, so I fully expect to get kicked out of office at some point because I am <laughs> just making these gigantic sweeping changes without um, really consulting anybody. But oh well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to bump up biofuels. I know that it's bad for now, but... Oh, it takes a great swath of land. Hmm. It doesn't take up that much energy, though. Hmm. I'm not happy with that. I'll come back to that, maybe. Um, okay. Let's get rid of all the industrial crop ag, because I do not like it. Um... Let's do a little bit of... Wait, why does it have a thing on it? Because of resource availability, this process can only make up to 15% of production. Okay. That's fine. Do I get a picture? Okay, it's still got a lot of land use, but I think it's what we can get for now. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna leave smallholder farms where it is because I realized that smallholder farms are pretty important in a lot of the world. So, I don't want to get rid of them completely right now. Uh, okay, well, they're both kind of as bad as each other, but at least the organic is slightly better. I don't know. Ooh, they're gonna be so mad at me. I get kicked out of office. Oh, whoops, wrong way. There we go. Alright. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay, alright. Now I can press the back button. And... Yeah. Okay, so normally at this point I could hit that big ready button to start running my plan. But first let's visit Parliament and get you acquainted with the people there. Oh, okay. Now I get to actually meet people. So I press the government tab to head on over. Alrighty, who are you? My plans will benefit from having others on board. Yes. Other parties shown here may join your coalition as allies depending on what I add to my plan. Okay. Some products will require a majority coalition in parliament to implement. Some parties have special abilities that can help as well. Tap on party to learn more. The Utopian says, hello, what an exciting time. Yes, it is. We have a unique re opportunity to reshape our relationship with nature and each other. We sure do. The Authoritarian says, not if we let human nature run its course. This is a time for urgency. We have to act swiftly. <sighs> yeah, that is like the basic like authoritarian rhetoric of like, there's no time to think these things through. We have to just act as quickly as possible. And like, you know, like acting as quickly as possible usually means like resorting to violence and oppression because those are 
the easy roads. Um, and human nature. Don't talk to me about human nature. You probably read Thomas Hobbes and think it's great. Uh, I'm sorry, but I think the hard route of violence is the easy route, actually. Uh, acceleration says nothing so drastic is necessary. We can finally unleash technology from the yoke of capitalism. Okay. Creating such abundance that our worst instincts become irrelevant. Mm, okay. Oh. I could say something. Uh, symbiosis with nature is crucial. Hardline is necessary. Technology is the key to liberation. You know what? I'm going to say symbiosis with nature is crucial because that I feel like people can agree with that. Topian says, yes, exactly. Thank you. Gossi says, hmm. Uh, okay. These people will come to love or hate you for it. Oh yeah. I'm ready. Anyway, let's head over to the stats tab now. Oh, look, the Utopian is a little ally. Yay. My coalition has four out of 33 seats. Oh boy, I'm gonna win this so, so much. <laughs> okay, this is my planning dashboard. It summarizes the state of the world today. Tapping some values will show a detailed breakdown or I can use the chart below. Oh, okay. Use the information to figure out the biggest contributors to problem areas. All right, seems decent. Okay, when I'm ready, we can head over to the world tab. Mm. Okay, so this chart shows us land. So this is unused, industrial, oh, 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 okay, I can see that. Hydropower, biofuels, smallholder farms, Oh, I'm starting to get the feeling that maybe I should have like looked at this before I made up my plan. <laughs> Very high <laughs> extinction rate. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I do that? Shit. I mean, shoot. <laughs> uh... Okay, so I think I can see the very- okay, yes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we've got buildings and iron and steel, other industry. Okay. Fuel. Concrete needs lots of fuel. Concrete, I found out to my dismay um, about 10 years ago, is like a source of like an insane amount of emissions like in the real world. And I never previously considered that. Uh, it made me reconsider all that like Soviet brutalist architecture. Every single time I look at a building made of concrete now, I'm like, hmm. I don't know about the cost to make you. Not to say that architecture isn't interesting though. Uh, chemical, industrial livestock, ag, okay. Let's check out animal calories. Oh, this says where it is, interesting. Interesting. Only direct impacts are shown and I can, okay. Interesting. Sea level rise. Ooh. Tell me about how terrible the temperature anomaly is. No, I don't get to know that. Okay. The current annual emissions at gigatons of CO2 equivalent. Gah.
I am using a lot of water. Once my plan goes into power, I mean, hopefully once my plan goes into power, that's fine. Okay, let's see if I can woo the Echo Feminist. She's neutral. Oh, was that like my one chance to like, <laughs> likes lichen composting Ursula Le Guin and tardigrades. Yes, I want to hang out with the Echo Feminist. She just likes patriarchy, mechanistic world, Rules, reply guys, and Francis Bacon. Yes! <laughs> uh. Oh hey, they have a quote by Carolyn Merchant. She helped me, uh, well, her book, um, she's dead, but um, her book, um, Environmental Culture, um, or no, um, Sorry, Carolyn Merchant's The Death of Nature really helped me sort of think about the framing of my second chapter, which was on gender relations in the post-apocalypse. Uh, okay. But can I, like, be her friend? No, apparently not. That one... Honey, question mark. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whoever wrote these had a lot of fun. Um. Okay, so I guess as my ally, my limits protection and restoration projects are cheaper. So why did I only have that single like interaction to make my allies and it was before i was even able to click on what these people believe and you know their um values and stuff ah oh, the fan honest ah. <laughs> like psychoanalysis and poetry and revolution and internationalism yes Ooh, Manichaeanism. Colonial Manichaeanism, in fact. I like that. Walmart Socialist. Hmm, I don't understand. Maybe the socialist version of Walmart. Just likes farmers markets. Oh. I don't want to hang out with this dude. Dislikes Karl Marx. <laughs> oh, come on, environmentalist. Likes fancy bicycles and philanthropists. Granola sandals. This is an environmentalist from like the 90s. <laughs> Dislikes bicycle lanes, vegans, and the greater good. I mean, I like the quotes from Britney Spears. Oh, that's good. Okay, the Malthusian, Malthusian. I can probably predict that one. <laughs> Kindergartens of William Godwin. <laughs> Space nonsense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. One has to be ruthless to defuse the population bomb. Which, by the way, was actual rhetoric back in, like, the 50s, 60s? I can't remember. But this guy wrote a book called The Population Bomb, and it sort of co-opted the Cold War rhetoric of, like, the atomic bomb into 
like fears of overpopulation. And for a while, there was a bit of a crisis in terms of the production of food. And then the quote unquote green revolution swept through uh, most of the world. And that wasn't a problem anymore that um, these sorts of people could point at. Um, and so it also sort of set the precedent for like, we can, you know, like just use technology to get out of this sticky ethical situation, which on the one hand is, I mean, hopeful. On the other hand, it's a little bit, I mean, getting out of the sticky situation of climate change with technology, most people would point to geoengineering and that is uncool. <laughs> Ooh, fancy bikes, yes. I mean, I recently got an electric bike. I guess that qualifies as a fancy bike. Um, it's really nice though. I didn't love biking around on my old bike because it had a solid um, steel frame and so it was very heavy. And I kind of had to calculate my days according to whether or not I was gonna go out on the bike or not because it would just take so much energy that I would lie down on the couch afterwards and be completely useless. But now with the electric bike, I can actually go places and like do stuff. I can probably do more than two things in one day, which is awesome. Uh, authoritarian, I won't lose if my contentedness is below zero because <laughs> I'll just call in the army. <laughs> like steady issues, shiny leather boots. <laughs> Doesn't like improvisational jazz. <laughs> Food products are much cheaper, okay. And, oh no, I looked at that, but animal liberation is already. Have I looked at everybody? I think so, okay. All right, let's go back to my plan. Mm. Oh, okay, all right, Um, I can add to my plan just these two things. Um, so maybe I'll find some things that will make people happy? Question mark. And maybe that will keep me from getting kicked out of par parliament. Um, what makes people happy? I'm a terrible politician. Um, The research is making people happy. Why not? Research makes me happy. Research should make everybody happy. Uh, hmm. Oh, nuclear fusion has a tiny chance to increase the world contentious by two. I don't know that I will take a tiny chance for 30 years. Um, oh, the search for extraterrestrial life. Okay, I still think that's kind of silly. Uh, what do we have in infrastructure? Mm. Oh, expanding recycling increases world contentious by two. I like that and reduces the biodiversity. Of... You know what? It seems like a really good idea. So I think I'm going to, whoops. There we go. Did that? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and one more. Um. <laughs> Champagne socialism increases world contentious by two. <laughs> Liberationist curriculum. Yeah, 
You know what? I think I'll find this. Yay. Okay, I'm down to nine. Uh, please don't kick me out. Okay. All national borders were dissolved soon after the revolution. I'm sure that had no consequences whatsoever. Now the world is organized into regions. Oh, okay. I'm glad they had a backup plan. Of course, regional inequities haven't vanished overnight, of course. So regions are still distinct from one another. It makes sense. Here you can gain some insight on those differences and learn more about each region. Feel free to browse a bit. When you're ready, head on back to the plan tab. Oh, okay. All right. So, Southern Africa. Hmm. Four to 20 degrees Celsius. When that tells me how much rain and development progress to the next income level. Okay. I guess there were no recent disasters. Oh, this. Okay, all right. Living standards. Habitability. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, so you can live pretty nicely there. Um, it demands one little piggy for animal calories. Okay, and plant calories. Okay. Okay, I think I get it now. Um, oh, and people are happy in Southern Africa. Yay, I'm glad. Southern Europe. Oh, people are happy. Oh, these, this is not good. Development progress is at max level. You know, I could say something about progress and like assuming it always goes forward and that European civilization is the pinnacle of like civilizational progress, etc., etc. But you know what? That's smarter people than me have written about that. Um, hmm. Eastern Europe is not super developed. But they're happy about it, so that's good. Uh, Western Asia, not very developed, but they're happy. Uh, North Africa, they're a little developed and they're happy. Northern Europe, Central Asia. Hmm. But the. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Oceania, Eastern Africa, Australasia, Western Europe, Central America, Central Africa, Caribbean, East Asia, North America, West Africa, South Africa. Okay, we're back. Okay, this seems like a... It'll probably change once my policies are put into place. I really hope that I'm not going to make anybody unhappy. Okay, and that's all there is to it. That's all. Okay. Feel free to continue to explore, but whenever you're ready, press the big ready button to launch your plan. Okay. Uh... You know what? You know, if I wanted to win at this game, I would probably go back and, like, optimize a bunch of this. But I also just am kind of really curious to see what happens. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm just gonna push the big red button and we'll see what happens. Ooh. Okay. 
Once a decade, heavy rains have now become commonplace. Leave it up for the rain. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... Oh, this is the little climatologist guy. Oh, okay. And so that is a factor behind the event. Gotcha. If you can do anything to lower the temperature, we should see fewer of these events. Gotcha. So there's flooding in Southern Europe, so they are unhappy. Wildfires, oh, we know about that. We have to lower temperatures quickly and introduce natural solutions to manage this problem. Yes, we do. My utopian curriculum policy outcome. Hooray. I also protected marine areas. So more cetaceans and pinnipeds have been spotted. You know what? That should make people happy because whale watching makes people happy. And like basically like charismatic marine mammals make people very happy. I think that I should get points for that. <laughs> Ah, uh, the environmentalist says, I feel way less guilty about eating meat now. Good for you. It's gotten hard to find meat, which I'm not happy about. Well, deal. Slaughterhouse jobs have also gotten much less grim. Yay! <laughs> Bigger cage is still a gauge, and a death sentence is still a death sentence. Mm, got a point there. Uh, the ecofeminist. Yes, of course I will support them. Multistrata agroforestry. I mean... I've seen tons of, of permaculture videos on YouTube that are like, you know, check out this, you know, like food forest and or like this forest farm um, where this man grew, you know, like a, a forest uh, on his farmland over the past 20 years. And here is the amazing things that have happened with it. So, um, yeah, this is nice giving people sort of language, I guess, around that. Yay, I'm increasing world contentness by one. Yay, we've come to the end of my first planning cycle. At the end of each cycle, you'll be presented a report summarizing changes. Improvements will foster confidence in my planning and gain my, me political capital. Oh, this is how I get it back, okay. On the flip side, setbacks and worsening conditions will lose me political capital. Oh no. Um. To manage it, I'll need to balance short-term improvements with long-term plans. Oh, okay. Oh, looks like I've got a, a, a plus nine. And there was flooding in Southern Europe. Ugh, that sucks. Okay, flooding. This event occurred during this planning cycle. Okay. Oh, is this the introduction to wildfires and flooding and then it will get more advanced as it goes? <laughs> okay. Intro course on wildfires. That would not be a great curriculum. Uh, my contentness is plus 20 though. That was great. And my extinction rate is negative five. And I've did negative 15 to emissions. And I brought da down the temperature. Ha! Ha! Okay, second planning session is in Wagodobu. People like content, but biodiversity is suffering and the world is still warming and parliament is conspiring against me. Oh no. I've got 57 years left though, so you're stuck with me. 
Uh, have you been to our Havana offices? Says the ecologist. And I say, what's that? And the ecologist says, well, the parts of the world that have joined the half Earth socialist bloc all provide data, technical expertise, and proposals to the Central Planning Bureau in Cuba. Why Havana? And they've had the most expensive planning, decarbonization, organic agriculture, so it makes sense for the Bureau of Death. Well, yeah. Okay. I, I've heard that in real life, Cuba's been making strides. So this isn't just coming out of nowhere. Okay, thousands of people work there from all over the world. And there are supercomputers! Um... Oh, they make simulated snapshots of the future. Okay, that's cool. I seem like someone who loves nature, yes. I also seem like someone who still recognizes that we're not trying to drive ourselves to extinction just to save it. What? I also seem like someone who still recognizes that we are not trying to drive ourselves to extinction just to save it. Oh, okay, all right, okay, yes. It's all about harmony. Yeah? Yes, we do have to find a way to live harmoniously with nature. Anyway, my party's joining my coalition since I think we feel the same way. Oh, sweet. Okay. Awesome. Welcome aboard. Sweet. Reduces the research time and restoration products are substantially cheaper. Nice. Yes, we do have a similar vision for the world, Mr. Utopian. You were already part of my coalition. But okay, cool. Ooh, a favorite quote from William Morris. Lay it on me. Go back again. Now you have seen us, and your outward eyes have learned that in spite of all the infallible maxims of your day, there is yet a time of rest in store for the world, when mastery has changed into fellowship. Aw, oh, that's nice. I like that. Look forward to working together. Yeah, me too. Oh, and it increases world contentedness by eight. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Um, oh, what is this? Oh, there are multiple production shortages. Fuel is mild, electricity is mild. Uh, hmm. Can I add more to this or is this full already? Oh, my factory farming reform. Uh, and then all these are done. So I guess I could add new ones. Geoengineer says we've got to do something about the rising temperature. Yes, we do recommend throwing all our options we have at the issue. One of them has got to work. Okay. Mm, since I'm having a fuel shortage, I might want to work on Oh, I've got the Echo Socialist video game. Increases world contentedness by one. Unlocks the Esperanto project. Hmm. Oh, I'm still at ten at eighteen. Okay. This I will start. And let's go to infrastructure. Hmm, are there any? 
there any other policies I could do? Because those are kind of easy to do. <laughs> um. Mm. Oh, Meatless Mondays. And Masculinity Detox. Hat. <laughs> Reduces fuel demand for road transport by 3%. Oh, nice. Reduce it. Oh, it unlocks the banned cars project. Okay, well, um, you got me. Uh, oh, feminist science and technology studies. Oh, I get plus 20 research points. That's very tempting. I do not want to mine the deep sea. I do not want to teach people how to consume. Oh, okay. Banning high seas fishing and abolishing prisons. Huh. Oh, the authoritarian doesn't like it. Well, too bad, mister. Why? Oh. It's not letting me do that, I guess. Oh, because I only have 15 and it needs 20, I guess? Okay. Alright. In that case... Do I want to do the environmentalist curriculum or feminist science and technology studies or masculinity detox or restricting air travel or the vegan mandate? Oh, I need 60 political capital for that. Okay, well, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh... Hmm. Who are you? Oh, the consumerist doesn't like it. Well, hmm. See if I spend five points on on the environmentalist curriculum. Energy conservation campaign. I actually like that. Expand public transit. Yeah, I like that too. Uh, expanding recycling. I'm already building that. I do want to fund indigenous sovereignty. But there are so many good things here. Ugh. Dang it. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be. Um, No, but do I want to spend more point? I don't think so. I I don't know if I want to gamble with my nine points. Ah, man. Now I understand why politicians are so so weasley. Oh, sweet. <laughs> my emissions are gonna go way down. Okay. Um. Sorry. Fuel and electricity have shortages.
Yes. some issues with electricity shortages. Oh well, the it's mild, so they can just deal. a whole lot of stuff, but I don't have a choice, I guess. I guess that's why I try to unlock other stuff, so. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, decrease the instinction rate. That's good. Uh, increase energy use by 15%. Land use by 1%. Water use by 2%. Bah! Increase emissions by 9%, increase energy use by 127%, whoops! <laughs> uh, land use by 2%, water use by 13%, increase the institution rate by 1%. This is not... You know what? Let's deal with the consequences of my actions. The Earth Liberation Front? Weren't they big back in like the 80s? Yes, they have returned. I better abandon that cozy relationship with the Accelerationist or else we'll have to take drastic action to protect the planet. Okay. What did I do to, like, be cozy with the accelerationist? Batteries are a tricky thing. They're heavy and material intensive. But we've figured out a few ways to make them more economical and lighter, too. Nice. That means we can use batteries in a lot of places that we couldn't before. Oh, and my electric arc furnaces are... Okay. Reduces fuel and increases electricity. I... Fuel and electricity should really be the same thing. I don't know. It... It makes sense to me that it would be the same thing. Oh, Central Africa has increased to lower middle. Okay. Oh no, the mountain gorilla is declared extinct. Reduces world contentedness by two. The eco-feminist says this is a betrayal of our primate family of wounds that can never be healed. Yeah, you're right. Reduce deforestation has helped to avoid a great deal of carbon emissions. And the Fanonis says, not to mention that this recognition of sovereignty is long overdue. You're right. Uh, the Equifemnist says, fungus has been spent across Europe killing 8% of ash trees. Oh, ash die back. That sucks. Catastrophic impact. There's keystone species. Eh, how did this happen? Pathogen was able to spread rapidly due to the industrialization of the nursery trade in Europe. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, shipping them all over the globe, you're just kind of shipping that disease all over the globe, too, I suppose. 
wildfires in North America. This is grim. Pretty grim because these are all sort of issues that have been in the news. At least they were when I was in Edmonton, um, back when the NDP was in power. Now that Danielle Smith's in power, we haven't really been talking about it that much. Oh, yay! Global recycling program to help keep plastic out of the ocean, as well as other ecosystems. I hope that this recycling program is more effective than what we have going right now, honestly, where we just, by recycling, it basically means we ship it to other countries where they burn it. Oh, I made the utopian happy. The citizen is happy because the elderly folks are happy. Nice. Ooh, I got plus 72. Wow. Okay. Okay, minus eight warming. Oh, but only plus 20 contentedness. Extinction rate is kind of the same. Ooh, my emissions went up 45 points. Mm. Disasters reduce the habitability of regions. I mean, not if you live on a beachfront property, even though the ocean, the sea level is rising, <laughs> that beachfront property is not really going down in the estimation of people who think it should be habitable. What I'm saying is that people are still selling waterfront properties even though that's really not advisable right now. I think anyways. Okay, let's go next. Oh, third planning session is in Port-au-Prince. People are content, biodiversity is suffering, the world is still warming, and parliament is ready to work with me. Yay! I got 52 years left. Gossy says that, oh, it looks like there's some production shortages. And I might need to change my production mixes to compensate for resource limitations. I can tap the pulsing alert icon for more information. And the consumerist says, I'm killing you with those plans. <laughs> I want to change, it's ridiculous. Go suck a lemon. <laughs> My life has only gotten worse. I always miss the days before the revolution. I won't let you drag me down with you. Oh, the consumer is now a nemesis. Sigh. Oh, cool, My Take farmers. Yes, it will be my life's passion to forage for mushrooms with you and your party. <laughs> ah, they have welcomed me. Excellent, we can hang out. <laughs> okay. What is the problem? Oh, electricity is critical. And plant calories are severe. And fuel is severe. The following processes can't produce as much as they need to. Hydropower and vertical farming. Why, again, can't I do 
vertical farming. Resource availability. It can only make up 10% of production. Reallocate its points to other processes. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll do that for now. Um, you know what? I'll increase smallholder firms because. Oh, shoot. No, that's not what I meant to do. Anyways, I'll increase smallholder farms because I know that a lot of people rely on smallholder farms um, around the world. Um. Oh, sweet. We'll decrease emissions by 1%, decrease energy use by 25%, increase the water use by 1%, and decrease the extinction rate by 14%. Mm, okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. Actually. In fact, I will... Okay. We're still problematic here. Okay, so I've already forgotten what the problem was. Right. Uh, they can't produce as much as they need to. Hydropower. Hydropower. Okay. We can... And then multiple production shortages. Fuel and severe electricity. Critical and plant calories severe. Okay. So electricity. see what it does to have geothermal in the mix here. What? Oh, there's a... Oh, zero percent of production. Dang it. Well, I'm definitely not going for coal power or natural gas we've um there's a movement to call it fossil gas here in a couple of cities in canada and i don't know i think i agree with them because that's a little bit more accurate terrestrial wind power okay well there we go why is it not generating more power? I think I'm gonna go and research um, some things. already researching it but I really need this to like work mm. oh we're reintroducing apex predators that's neat huh 
Huh. Well, this increases world contentedness by three, so we're obviously going to go for it. Um... No, no, no. I need to focus on reducing the demand for electricity and for fuels. There we go. Reduces fuel demand. And it increases the world contentedness. And it unlocks the bank cars project. So, ha. Okay. Energy conservation campaign. I like that. Okay. Ooh, Continental Smart Grid. System and for electricity. Oh, but this reduces fuel demand for, by a hundred percent. Hmm, and I'm already doing a bit of an energy conservation thing. So maybe if I fund electrification. Oh, this I want to get started. Definitely. because there was a policy that I really wanted to pass that was... There we go, masculinity detox. There we go. All right. Emissions is going to go slightly up, but my land use is going to go down. Okay, well, hmm, hmm, hopefully in the next cycle. Okay. Thanks, Gossie. Let's see what happens over the next several years. Okay, yay, the new battery network is done. And hempcrete. Uh, there are a few applications where it can't compete with conventional concrete. Eh, fair. We'll use it where we can. We'll entirely replace old fashioned concrete. Oh no, a locust infestation. Curses. Can I unlock the like eating insects achievement and get people to like eat the locusts back? <laughs> Ooh, the farmer is getting folksy about it. It's as if hell had risen to earth. Oh, new mosquito-borne disease. Oh dear. In many parts of the world, they weren't considered more than nuisance. Well, 
I mean, they carry, what is it, Zika virus and um, bird flu up here in this part of the world. So. It's only a matter of time. Yep. Yeah. Energy conservation. It took some time, but people have come around to seeing that a low energy lifestyle doesn't mean giving up a good quality of life. Good. Uh, oh no, a forest is infested. Oh, so this is what's happening to the boreal forest in um, BC and uh, northern Alberta. It's why the wildfires are so, like, have been so in well it's not the main reason or well it's not the sole reason rather that wildfires have been so intense over the past couple of decades honestly um but these uh what they're called um no not emerald ash borers oh shoot i had a friend who did his master's project on their reproduction and I've totally forgotten what they're called. Anyways, they kill all the cedars, and um, basically the forests are just dry kindling. Seeing an overload of hospitalizations for people with outdoor professions. Oh, that sucks. Let's rely more heavily on air conditioners and fans. Electricity usage will get higher. Yes, that is true. <laughs> We're all soy boys now. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Oh, hey, I got 161 political capital. Nice. Okay, so even though things are on fire and flooding and... Yeah, um... Wait, my contentness went way down. Oh no, I need to contend people. Otherwise I'll get kicked out of office. Okay. Wait, it's plus 30, so I guess... Oh, that's how many points it is. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, I did my PhD in literature. I am not good at math. Um... Okay. Fourth planning session in San Cristobal de las Casas. People are furious. Biodiversity is plummeting. The world is still warming. Parliament is ready to work with you. People are furious. No. People, I don't want you to be furious. Biodiversity has been plummeting, says the ecologist. I'm afraid that most of our species will be lost forever. What can we do? It would have been better if we could have stopped extinctions from happening at all. Well, yes, but we don't live in that world, do we? DNA samples of Earth's remaining biodiversity. Hey, I saw that film. Anybody remember Titan AE? That was like a plot point. Request that you implement the arc plus 100 political capital. Oh, so it'll give me plus 100 political capital. Nice. Aw, the Fanonis party is joining my coalition because they think I'm cool. Yay. Honestly, I just wanted the Fanonis to like me. Uh, my job here is done. I 
hope that together we can undo at least some part of centuries of inju injustices. Me too, man. Me too. The contentedness of lower and middle income regions will recover more quickly. Uh, reduces the cost of degrowth in developed regions by 63 political capital. Nice. Unlocks the degrowth in developed regions product. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. Whoops. <laughs> I need to change my production mixes. Dang it. Well, now that I have unlocked, you know, like batteries and stuff like that, I wonder if... for geothermal there's a whole campaign about people you know like not using so much electricity <laughs> they should have listened to me why is this still a critical problem oh no am i just gonna have to like choose the like least evil what's the green Okay, well, I'm going to have to get rid of some solar PV and stick it in nuclear power, I think. And I'll get rid of hydropower, actually. And stick it in nuclear. And you know what? We'll see what happens. Oh! What happens is that Ariel did not drag the cart the right way. Okay. I'm sorry, solar power, I love you so much, but, uh... No, actually, I'm going to put a little bit more into solar. Okay, fuel. What's our fuel problem? Forgotten what the problems are. Uh, okay, I did electricity. Plant calories is severe, and animal calories is critical. Why? Is it? trying to tell me that I should up that? Is that what I'm going for? Screw it. People can just eat vegan. It's fine. Population is at 9.1 billion. Yikes. Okay. Um. Oh, alternative refrigerants. Cool. Uh. Okay. Well, you're getting funded. So the cycles go in like five or six years, I think. So if I reduce this to six years,
then it should be funded in the next cycle. Okay. That's going to be my little um, uh, test run. Biofabrication. Biosphere. Okay, well, I need to increase the contentedness, so that's happening. Um, hmm. Okay, so green hydrogen. I'm going to start that because that is going to be an alternative fuel that I need. What's my infrastructure like? Ooh, green roofs. Hmm. Expanded to public transit has 20 years left. I'm going to give that a little bit more. Oh, right. The, um, what did that guy ask me to do? He asked me to like do some sort of, I honestly can't remember. I think it was a policy. Um, abolish prisons. I mean, that does increase the vote contentedness by three. Oh, 196. I'm trying to remember what that thing was that- oh, it was the Ark. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. It's being built. Environmentalists will be happy. Uh... You know what, let's uh, talk about reconciling the town and country because I think that that is very important. It also increases the world happiness by a lot. Um, uh, pedestrian and bike friendly cities. like the continental smart grid idea, but I 
I mean... Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna try and hope I survive this round. My land use is going to go way down and then spike back up again and then just go whoop. My emissions, oh, they're gonna rise. Well, shit. Uh, man, but everything that like lowers emissions seems to be very unpopular with a lot of people. Let's see what happens. Yay! Okay. Increases solar PV output by 300%. Hopefully that means I won't have electricity shortages. Um. You know, if they still require a bit of maintenance or repair, that means jobs for people and, you know, like... Although I guess this is a socialist society, so it's not technically a job so much as it's like, just like... There will be options for people who like to work on that kind of thing to work on that kind of thing. Uh, which is really cool. So, you know. Oh no, acid rain. Either solar radiation management or coal power plants have caused acid rain to return. I have not done either. So I don't know who's been approving these policies, but it's not within the socialist bloc. Um, some other jerk. But it sort of shows how, you know, like your best laid plans for being totally environmentally friendly can get totally screwed over by the decisions of someone half a world away who isn't even considering what the outcome will be. Anyway. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, right? Well, sir, you could have a breakfast like oatmeal, and then you don't have to break eggs at all. Yes, I know what the acid does. We have pits in the rocks um, all the way up in Sudbury and around there because of the acid rain from the 70s. The uh, ecosystem actually uh, recovered really well. Um, they put a different smokestack because um, Sudbury has a lot of like nickel refining and mining. So they put a uh, better smokestack on the mines so that it actually uh, disperses the pollution a lot better so it doesn't like get concentrated and hang around and turn into acid rain. Um, but yeah, for a while Sudbury and the surrounding area just looked kind of like the craters of the moon, which was great. Oh, a massive heat dome has formed, trapping scorching air across a wide area. Oh no. Oh, reduces global population by 50,000. Holy crap. Oh no. That is no bueno. Yay! I built this game in game. <laughs> I have performed the meta uh, narrative of the game. One day I want to become a planetary planner just like you. Keep dreaming, kid. You gotta get into politics and make lots of people angry. If you have the stomach for that, then please. More and more mega dams. I took hydropower out of the energy mix, I thought? Hmm, 
Southern Africa is doing pretty well. Although that means that they're... Hmm. Not... Living as lightly on the land. Didn't they practice the moon landings around Sudbury because of how barren it was? You know, I don't know, but I would totally believe that. Uh... Yeah, I, I know in the States, in um, Iowa, yeah, in Iowa, they have a national park called Craters of the Moon National Park, and I do know that they practiced the moon landing there, because the landscape, I mean, you you drive through it, and it does look pretty much exactly like the Craters of the Moon, because thousands of years ago, a volcano erupted and spewed molten lava across the entire landscape and um that was actually pretty recent in geological history and so the landscape is basically made up of this like black rock um interspersed with like where sort of sand and dirt has accumulated then like there's a couple of like desert like scrub sort of like bushes and like s some sand along the sides of the roads and stuff like that but it is wild so wild. Uh, okay, severe hurricane. Models have long predicted that warming will increase hurricane strength. Oh no. Yes, I am trying to bring down the temperature. Yay, compost. What a great metaphor for how we can survive this era. You're right, Echo Feminist. I think I might be you in real life. I'm abolishing prisons. Yay! I've made people happy! If I do this, don't expect help when I need some brute force to back me up. That's okay. Meatless Mondays. The citizen found it surprisingly easy to cut meat out of my diet once a week. Yeah, it's really easy, even more than once a week, actually, once you get into like a rhythm. Uh, I've been going flexitarian over the past couple of years and I've found that um, it's really about finding the recipes that you really like and that you will actually make. Because um, I was raised in a household where it was very sort of meat and potatoes, and so that is the quote-unquote easiest thing for me to make. Um, however, uh, sort of vegetarian meals or meals without meat at all were just very rare and also like difficult for me to imagine. And so I found it really helpful to like. Whenever I'd go out to restaurants, I'd order the vegetarian or vegan entree and, and see what it was like. And um, believe it or not, um, those sort of like food delivery boxes things, like those meal kits, are really helpful for sort of imagining these things. So if you have the financial wherewithal to be able to um, do the meal kits, like my partner and I subscribed to a meal kit for a while we figured out which meals we liked we kept those recipes and then we canceled our meal kit subscription and so now we just like buy what we need from the grocery store and we can make this delicious food and um it was pretty easy for us to um through a process of research optimize our cooking anyway I'm blathering on. Let's get back to the game. There are certain meals that feature meat that are important to me and I would hate to lose them. Hmm? Fair. This feels like a slippery slope, says the consumerist. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm sliding you down the slope. Oh, I only got plus six. Oh no. No, this isn't great. I put plus 30. 
Why are you not happy? No. <laughs> this is not great. Ah, uh, I'm gonna lose. Mm, people aren't happy. The outlook's really low. <laughs> A mob's raided our building. They're looking for you. Whoa. Uh, the citizen is tired of living under my tyrannical plans and they've brought us nothing but misery. Well, maybe you can do better. Any last words? Scum, this is the only way to save the planet. I did what I thought was best. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Say, I did what I thought was best because that's true. My legacy as a planner was one that you feared most. Oh no. Oh no. 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 You're right. Intentions don't matter. One bit. It's just the outcome of those intentions. If only I could go back and try again. Well, good thing this is a game. <laughs> Me and the Utopians were assassinated by Global Coalition in 2040. <laughs> I can tweet that. Oh, man. Actually, I'm just going to print the screen of that. Um, because that is hilarious. But I don't have a Twitter account because reasons. Okay. Okay, well, that was really fun. Um, especially, well, you know what? It was, it was a predictable outcome because I had no strategy whatsoever and just sort of played through while I was kind of finding things out. You know, I feel like in real life, the um, supreme leader of the socialist bloc would maybe have a little bit more of a briefing beforehand or, you know, like advisors to tell them about things instead of them having to make all the decisions themselves, because that is kind of, well, I mean, like, it's kind of, how do I say this? No, I'm just going to say it's fascist. Just like one person making the decisions is, is fairly not cool. And I'm not just saying that because I am an indecisive person and I require the validation of others in order to feel that the decisions I am making are good decisions. Anyways, this was fun. Um, thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, this was a really great uh, first little stream. I'm hoping to do more of these. I will probably be doing them, I don't know. You know, I'll get back to you on if I have some sort of schedule or something. But for now, uh, yeah, have a great night, everybody. And 